Hi, I'm Leo Weisbart and I will present you Screen Gleaning, a screen reading tempest attack on mobile devices exploiting an electromagnetic side channel. We live in a digital world where our interaction requiring security are moving mobiles. From laptops to tablets and smartphones, some operations should be secret and never be seen by a third party. Think about sending private emails or logging to secure services or simply shop online using your credit card. For these operations, the secrecy is our first barrier for security. However, Tempest Attack can endanger this by giving the possibility to a third party to get access to the information from the device emanation. Tempest is known as a set of techniques capable of reconstructing a display image on the screen through leaking emanation, including unintentional radio or electrical signal, sounds and vibration. These attacks are known since the 1970s, where the first paper in this area from Van Heck introduced the possibility of decoding an RGB encoded video signal. And since the research on this topic have taken many forms, People use the visual domain to focus on uh, countering the distortion of re reflections on glasses, walls, or even teapots. Uh, in the audio domain, the focus was set on detecting keystrokes uh, typed on a computer keyboard and have moved to classifying the display content on a screen, such as differenti differentiating between scrolling on a website or having a video call. And in electromagnetic research, the focus has been put on denoising a uh, reconstructed image and attacking cryptographic uh, chip. However, the, mostly, uh, the focus of this research is mostly put around desktop computers, while nowadays mobile devices represent the majority of computer devices. So what are the applicability to mobile devices which have more constraints and have smaller electronics. Tempest attack is known for a long time, but no methodology has been established yet to evaluate attacks on mobile devices. This is why we introduced screen leaning, a new electromagnetic tempest attack targeting mobile phones. We do provide a testbed and parameterized attacker model for further research and demonstrate the attack and its portability to different targets using machine learning. Specifically, we need machine learning because the theory is not always conform to the practice. But what exactly is screen cleaning? Glean, according to Merriam-Webster dictionary, is the action of gathering something, initially grain, but derived to information, bit by bit. This is what screen gleaning is about. Gathering information from the emanation of a mobile phone screen. However, screen gleaners does not look like this representation. It is more like this one. Here, an attacker recover uh, in content information uh, of the screen over the air uh, of a mobile device and reconstruct it on his site. But again, this representation is a bit too nice because in practice, uh, it looks more like this one. Here, uh, the scenario is more realistic as uh, the content is smaller to fit the normal display of a message and uh, the noise is uh, real. To explore the possibilities of screen leaning attacks, we introduce a parameterized attacker model. In this uh, attacker model, we describe the message and the type of attacker. The message uh, and its appearance, uh, such as the size, position, font, background, and brightness. And for the attacker, we define the hardware, uh, such as the probing tool and sampling device at hand, uh, as well as other test equipment uh, it would require. Uh, the profiling it, it, it do to perform the attack, 
what kind of access you have to this device and what is the collection time. Uh, and finally, the computational resource at end uh, given time and uh, power. We declined the testbed in two variations. First, a high doctor testbed to offer a parameterized way to move through a complete space of visual variation. The message is one letter centered on the screen with the slant font, a, a font designed to be challenging for human interpretation. The scale goes from 1 to 20, where 20 fits the width of the display. Secondly, a security code experiment where the challenge is to recover six digits embedded in a text message with default font and font size. The other parameters are shared uh, in the two scenarios. To collect the electromagnetic signal, we use a near field probe. Uh, the signal from which is amplified uh, with an amplifier and sampled with a software-defined radio. We consider the attacker to have enough time to profile the device and have full access of this device. The attack, however, is performed uh, within a few seconds and the attacker can use either a standout laptop or a laptop with a GPU. Now, if we uh, take a look at the results uh, from the iDoctor testbed, we can see that the letters are distinguishable without any effort. The information can be extracted, and the only challenge is to sample the electromagnetic signal. However, for smaller scales, it might be a bit more difficult to read. So what can we do if we cannot read it? Is there still information to extract, or is everything lost? Take a look at this reconstructed image. You probably cannot read the code out of this message. So one idea is to use machine learning. Other related work uh, have applied uh, machine learning for SCA. Here is an example, two examples. The first uh, uses classification to discriminate between different screen contents. And the second applies OCR technique on denoised images. Here, we want to know if information is still present in the image, and thus don't want to touch about its appearance. We then go for classification of the different characters there is to recover with a Linet deep learning classifier. The iDoctor setup is challenging, but quite in line with the state-of-the-art uh, recognition when considering all different scales. For example, on, on the top right, I have the confusion matrix uh, given letters in all different uh, scales. We can see that there is a few misclassification, except for uh, challenging letters such as F and E or O and uh, C. But this is quite in line with the state of the art. However, we can notice that not all scales give the same accuracy for recognition. The, low, uh, the lower scales, uh, below 1.5, have a drop in accuracy. This is probably due to the loss of information. So given a uh, default uh, font size on a smartphone, would deep learning be enough to extract six-digit code embedded in a text message? Well, if we take a look at the security code results now, we can see that when using proper cropping of digits and collecting the data in different profiling sessions, we can get rid of most of the environmental noise. And thus, uh, by applying an intercession uh, experiment, we can obtain uh, accur high accuracy. Here, intense intercession means that we collected data from different phones of the same model during the profiling phase. And during the attack phase, we obtain a very few misclassification. If we 
take a look at the table below, we see that if we want to recover the security code of six digits with the first guest, we have 50% of accuracy. In this paper, we also presented other results. We presented a result about attack on different phones of the same model. For, in essence, um, we used uh, cross-device accuracy and obtained 61.5% uh, of accuracy, where the classifier have been trained uh, on one uh, phone and tested on another phone of the same model. Another attack is an attack on a different phone of a different model. Uh, we also get a result uh, a high accuracy of 74% and found out that this phone was emitted stronger leakage and thus could obtain better accuracy for a single device. Another experiment we did was an attack at a greater distance. This uh, leads to lower the, the the strength of the signal by improving the the distance and putting putting a ma magazine between the probe and the target. We reached an accuracy of sixty five point eight percent through uh, two hundred pages of this magazine. If you want to hear more details about uh, all the results we obtained in this paper. You can follow the laser workshop uh, that is co-located with NDSS 2020, where we'll, we'll give a talk on February 25. All in all, we introduced screen cleaning, a new electromagnetic tempest attack targeting mobile phones. We provided a testbed and parameterized attacker model to evaluate different mobile devices and demonstrated the attack and its applicability to different targets. In future work, we will explore different settings of the attacker model and also evaluate more devices using different technologies, as here we only focused on RGB encoded video streams. Thank you for your attention, and now we will be happy to answer all of your questions.